Okay, I'm going to go through step by step how to get Substance 3D Modeler working in VR. As you can see on screen just now, I'm in the environment. Apologies for the sound there. The mic will be uh, hitting the headset. And I can scale without being far too sensitive, which was the default binding. So I'll show you how to change that. Um, the good thing about doing it this approach is that when I take the headset off, it's detected the headset's off and we're being thrown back into the 3D application, which is just fantastic. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download Revive, which allows you to play Oculus games on a Steam VR compatible headset. The instructions here are quite simple, but just download the installer and keep a note on where you installed it. You're going to want to download the Oculus software as well, Meta software, and make sure you sign up for the account and you can play your games on there if you have any. Uh, so once you've done that, I'm going to show you how to actually hook it up into Substance Modeler. I've done this a few times here, but as you can see, we have this as a, a setting that we can just enable from the Steam VR desktop. So what you want to do is go up to Games, add non-Steam game to Library, select Browse and go to Revive and select Revive Injector. Once you've done this, just click Add Selected Programs. What we'll do now is search for Revive Injector. And we can see it's appearing in our Steam library. Let's go to Properties and just call this Substance Painter. I know it's not Substance Painter, but for my convenience. Let's add in some parentheses so we can escape the spaced characters. Navigate to where you installed Substance Painter, and we're just going to put in the executable here. Now, the parent directory is named the same as the executable, so we can just put that in here and just add in the .exe, make sure we've got a close parenthesis. Subject to change, obviously this is a beta, so just make sure you put in the executable here for substance. And include in VR library. And uh, now we've done that, we can click play and it will automatically inject the revive injector. Revive injector will automatically inject substance paper, painter um, as a layer between um, the Oculus SDK and the Steam VR SDK. Now there is an issue though when you when you first play Substance Painter where it's too sensitive and your index controllers are impossible really to navigate and sculpt at the same time. So as you can see, I've got it loaded up in the background. Uh, if you go up to Steam VR and go to Devices and Controller Settings, you'll see this. Um, click on Manage Controller Bindings. We want to select Use Another, and I'll share it in the description just uh, when I release to the Steam Workshop. But if you want to do this yourself, let's go to Edit. Let's scroll down to Grip. You can see Grip Value. If I just click on Edit there and click on the settings, we can see I've got it to 40 and 10. If you want to do this yourself, just delete that. Grip. It's a grab function. Grip Value. Settings. Set it to 40 and set it to 10. Um, I might reduce that down to 5 actually. So we'll click close and then that's it done. So you should be able to launch up now with uh, the settings and configuration uh, to be quickly uh, loaded up anytime you want to use it. So hopefully you have fun in the software. It looks brilliant. It's a new way of manipulating data and uh, so far I'm a big fan. So thanks for watching. I hope you have fun.